How to get rid of spider crickets. If you've spotted super large, long legged crickets in your home, you may be dealing with spider crickets. These nasty pests can seriously alarm homeowners, but don't stress they don't bite and aren't a health risk. If left to their own devices though, they may wreak havoc on fabrics and woods in your home. So, we'll walk you through all of the fastest, most effective extermination tips below. To learn how to easily rid your home of spider crickets once and for all, read on. Spider Cricket Identification Search for a curved hump, inch-long body, and long legs. Spider crickets, also called cave and camel crickets do actually look like a cross between a spider and a cricket. According to etymologist Samuel Ramsey, they love to chew on cardboard boxes, and they love humidity. More likely than not, you'll immediately observe differences between the spider crickets in your home and the field crickets you may be used to seeing. Search for photos online and note the pest's identifying qualities. Humped body. 1 1.5 inches, 2.53.8 centimeters long. 6 long legs. Light to dark brown, often with dark colored bands around their body. Antennae. Welcome to, The Guardian's Choice. This video will tell you, how can I get rid of spider crickets, and spider cricket prevention. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy. Method 1. How can I get rid of spider crickets? Number 1. Reduce moisture in your home with a dehumidifier. Spider crickets seek out damp, humid environments, like your muggy basement, for instance. Etymologist Samuel Ramsey emphasizes that if you run a dehumidifier, it will dry out the air, which will make it a lot more difficult for the crickets to find a suitable habitat if they happen to make it inside. Purchase a dehumidifier online or in home improvement stores. Once your home's air is dry and crisp, spider crickets are likely to leave on their own. For best effects, make sure to buy the right size. Your dehumidifier should be powerful enough to help with your entire space. Buy one that's too weak, and it won't affect your air quality enough to solve your issue. Number 2. Use a vacuum to suck up spider crickets and their eggs. You may not want to get close enough to squash the bugs, and we don't blame you. Instead, thoroughly vacuum your floors, especially in your basement. This way, you can rid your home of the pests from a comfortable distance. According to etymologist Samuel Ramsey, crickets infrequently reproduce inside of human homes. They are most likely to reproduce outside of the home and to come into the home itself through cracks and crevices that they're allowed to access. However, on the off chance there are any eggs, this method can help you catch a majority of them, thus helping to prevent future spider cricket infestations. Spider crickets can survive being vacuumed. Empty your vacuum bag immediately into an outdoor garbage bin so they don't make their way back into your home. Number 3. Set store-bought traps to catch and kill spider crickets. According to etymologist Samuel Ramsey, there are sticky traps that can be used to capture crickets. They are very, very effective. Station the traps in areas where you've spied the bugs in the past. As long as they won't inconvenience you, place as many sticky traps as you can in as large of an area as you can. The more ground you cover, the better chance you have of catching more pests. Spider crickets love fungi, so for extra effect, place pieces of moldy bread in the center of the traps. This will make your traps even more enticing to them. Even without the bread, sticky traps will catch unsuspecting bugs while they move around your home. As etymologist Samuel Ramsey notes, the bug will just sit there until it eventually starves. Number 4. Catch spider crickets in soapy, homemade traps. In muggy areas, like your basement or areas where you've spotted bugs already, leave out a big tub of water. Squirt in a little dish soap, and you'll have created your own DIY bug trap. 
Spider crickets will come for the water, but because of the dish soap, they'll have a difficult time getting out of your container. The dish soap will create suds and slippery sides. The water's surface tension will break, making it more difficult for the spider crickets to stay afloat and escape. This is a quick, easy spider cricket killer. Number 5. Use bug zapping rackets. Another effective method in killing spider crickets and other pesky flying insects is by using bug zapping rackets. However, you have to make sure to avoid touching the wire since it zaps anything that comes close to the wire with hundreds or even thousands of volts. It's not fatal as it's battery powered, but the electric shocks can result in second degree burns. Number 6. Make a cedar oil spray. Another all natural spider cricket repellent is cedar oil. You can concoct your bug spray by mixing cedar oil with water in a spray bottle. When the crickets touch the oil, they go through osmotic dehydration and die. Alternatively, you can also use neem oil. The compounds found in this oil can destabilize the hormonal system of these insects. As a result, they affect the insect's ability to eat, mate, and lay eggs. 2 tablespoons neem oil or cedar oil. 4 teaspoons baking soda. 4 cups water. Number 7. Call a professional if you're facing a full infestation. Spider crickets are a bit elusive because they move quickly and love warm hiding spots. If the problem has already gotten out of control, it may be extremely difficult to rid your house of the bugs yourself. So, make a call to an exterminator. When you're deciding on a service, consider asking for a free quote and references. Pro tip, ask fellow homeowners for their recommendations on the best local pest control. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Spider cricket prevention. Number 1. Seal up your home's entryways with sealant and weatherproofing. According to etymologist Samuel Ramsey, one of the clearest reasons why people have homes full of crickets are that they have pest entry points on the outside of their home that allow these organisms to easily get inside. If you're approaching the stoop and you have a concrete foundation and you see the large cracks that are going toward the house itself, it's easy for creatures like crickets that live in the soil to cross through that broken barrier and to get into the home that way. Walk around your house, keeping an eye out for cracks, holes, crawl spaces, vents, and voids. Seal up any potential entry points for a cold or hungry spider cricket. For an immediate solution, use cork sealant. For long-term solutions, try a concrete filler. Next, turn your attention to windows and doors. Use sealant or weather stripping to ensure no spider crickets can get into your home. If spider crickets can't get into your home, then they can't infest your home. Etymologist Samuel Ramsey explains that they are most likely to reproduce outside of the home, so they're probably coming from the outside. Number 2. Declutter your home to discourage future infestations. Spider crickets love the warmth and darkness of your messy piles on the floor, so tidy up. Cardboard boxes stored in a humid basement are specially enticing for the crickets. According to etymologist Samuel Ramsey, crickets can feed on the paper fibers that the cardboard is made out of, as it's a good source of sugar and food for them. But, in addition to that, when cardboard is allowed to sit for long periods of time, especially if it gets a bit damp, small amounts of microfungi grow on it that the crickets are attracted to and consume. Plus, by keeping your floors free, you're more likely to spot spider crickets sooner. This will make it easier to get rid of spider crickets in your basement in the future. If you need to store items, especially in a humid part of your home, use airtight containers. Avoid leaving food out and clean up crumbs and spills right away to deter spider crickets from entering your home in search of their next meal. Number 3. Tidy up the outdoor perimeter bordering your home. If spider crickets are comfortable in the area surrounding your home, then eventually, they could move indoors. Mow the weed and grass areas around your home regularly, because spider crickets are more likely to live in long grasses over short, 
Manicured yards. Keep high moisture yard features away from your walls, like mulch piles, wood piles, and shrubs. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Why are spider crickets in my house? You likely live east of the Mississippi and have a humid basement. Though spider crickets can pop up in homes across the U.S., they are more common in eastern U.S. homes. Spider crickets seek out muggy, quiet, dark areas with lots of hiding places. So if you have a basement, that elevates your risk of attracting spider crickets, especially during fall months. Are spider crickets dangerous? No, spider crickets aren't dangerous. These creepy insects are often confused with wolf spiders and because of this, they often cause homeowners to panic. But spider crickets don't bite and are entirely harmless. However, spider crickets do jump when they feel threatened. As a defense mechanism, they may actually head straight for their potential predator. So even though they're not dangerous, keep your distance. Why are spider crickets bad for my home? Spider crickets can damage fabrics and woods in your home. Though these pests aren't physically dangerous to you, they are famous for chewing through clothes, drapes, boxes, rugs, furniture, and even wood. In short, these bugs can definitely do damage. To avoid unnecessary, annoying destruction to your items, get these critters out of your home. During large infestations, spider crickets may spread dark spots around the home. These are fecal smears, and they can leave stains. What home remedies help repel spider crickets? The best way to repel spider crickets is to make sure your home is dry and well sealed. Seal any cracks or openings with cork or weather stripping, particularly on the lowest level, and use a dehumidifier in dark, damp spaces to make the place less comfortable for spider crickets. It's also a good idea to move any piles of bricks, wood, leaves, and stones where moisture could collect away from your home. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.